Hello and welcome to another update video about Polygonmatic, a bit of a non-event day in the crypto market today, slight selling pressure coming in, not unexpected, talked about that in the Bitcoin video that we expect a bit of a, a bit of downside today and over the weekend, that's exactly what's playing out now, so the other coins are following, especially on a day with little volume, you tend to see them follow Bitcoin quite a bit. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a bit of a slow day, no change to scenario. So really just nothing more than a confirmation of the current uh, scenario. The idea is that we, um, again, there's higher level, there are different scenarios for Matic. Um, for now, they are all bullish as long as we hold about 47 cents. The idea is here that we um, moved down of the 15th of August or what was it? 15th of August, 13th of August high. In an A wave, we rallied in an overshooting B wave and came down in a C wave on the 10th of March in a running flat pattern into our trend reversal area. We did reverse from there in what I consider a wave one and we came down into the next trend reversal area in a wave two. Reverse so far, but we are sort of hovering around that $1.10 level, the 50% Fibonacci retracement. We are, or I am generally bullish on Matic, um, especially as long as we're holding the $1 level. Below $1, I've got 87 cents as support. Below that, we just need to see how the structure looks like um, in order to give the next support level out. But for now, um, it, it's holding the $1 level and it could very well be that it has started yesterday its third wave rally there after the 1-2 setup where it reacted to the golden ratio, the $1.6 level, 61.8 retracement, did react to it, moved up, and yeah, just waiting now for it to play out basically. Um, it broke above the descending trend line, but it is holding below that 50 day, I think it's the 50 day. Yeah, some coins struggled with that now. So the 50 day moving average, Matic also struggled with it here on the 18th of March and the 14th of March. So it's just something to be aware of. Don't normally like using moving averages too much because sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. They can work quite nicely for possible pullback trades sometimes. But then it's all about figuring out on which time frame does which moving average work. They're not always the same. Um, not every coin adheres to the same uh, moving averages. So it's all a bit difficult with those. But um, FIP levels are working universally. You know, that's why I like to use them really. And without Elliott Wave and without um, FIP levels, I could not analyze so many coins and charts. But um, yeah, because, because the rules of market structure adhere to basically every asset. Um, but yeah, I mean, idea is we could have bottomed, especially because we broke above the descending trend line. It was an impulse here that peaked on Wednesday, came down in a wave two. Now, the question is, is, is the wave two already over or not? That's basically impossible to say at the moment. It could be, it could be. Um, but... Um, we won't really know until it breaks above the wave one high. If it gets above the wave one, which is at 115, I think we have good confirmation that we are in a third wave of a third rally. Yeah, I mean, we just came back, that was Friday, came back into the support area. Yeah, so I didn't add another one because, you know, as long as it's holding $1, basically, the trend here is clearly up. Um, the third wave target. Yeah, let's just say, okay, Let's just say we moved up in a wave one. Let's say we came down into the rally in a third wave of a third. It should take us to at least 127. Eventually, though, the larger third wave should take us higher. So these are only guidelines. I mean, sort of minimal minimum targets. Yeah, if it really works out this way, this setup it should take us to 127 first, and then the the larger third wave to the 151. Sort of 151, 152. That's basically here. Um, around the previous wave B high. Yeah, so there will be some resistance, but eventually it should push higher. So, you know, if, if this really is a third wave rally, you know, you know, we're gonna see $2 plus in the coming months. But let's see, first of all, we need to see if it's really holding the $1 level and playing out the uh, third wave. Again, needs to break above that tiny wave one, and then it needs to break above the 50 day moving average, which is dynamic resistance, and then a break above the 125 level will just be you know, confirmation because it's the break above structural resistance and a break above the wave one is always additional support um, for the perspective that a third wave rally has started. All right, that's my update about um, Matic. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, 
then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.